All right, what's up, guys? I'm bringing you a uh, little bit of something different. Like, this is a super quick video. I don't plan on this video being longer than maybe four minutes, three, four minutes. Maybe if I get to talking, but <laughs> this is going to be a super quick video. So, with this year, they, 2K added a lot of new mechanics. Like, they really added a lot for slashers to add in their bag. And I feel like early on, a lot of people should use this in their bag, especially this year with the way paint defense is. Like, it's not bad, but... You have to be a lot more smarter with how you go up rather than just going up. Like if you have, if you got a, if you got a lane, go up for a dunk. But if there's people in the paint, there's ways to get around them. Um, you know, we can't go through them just yet because nobody really has bully. I don't think right now. So right now you have to go around people. So this layup feature that 2K just added to the game works wonders because this is perfect for players who are smaller trying to finish over bigger players. Now, I actually pulled this off twice, and I'm actually kind of surprised I did it twice. And the second time I pulled it off, it was actually kind of nice. So what this basically is, it's a quick scoop layup where you let go of turbo. Wherever side the ball is on, you hold the right stick towards the side that it's on to finish with the layup. So don't hold it to the other hand because you'll do an other hand layup. So if you're driving, you got the ball in your left hand, you want to hold the right stick towards your left hand while you're driving so that your player will do the quick scoop. Vice versa for the right side. So with that being said, let me show you guys in action. So you see I get the ball coming up court and point guard doesn't want to come down for the inbound. And so, so you can see right here, this is a situation right here where if I just normally go up, this is a block or a contest or something. I don't have slithery. I'm not just going to be able to bump off of them and get to the cup. I don't have limitless takeoff. I can't just get into an animation and go straight to the rim. So this is basically a dead drive is what I would call it. This is not an opportunity for me to attack the basket. But with the new feature of the quick scoop layup, I can attack the rim. I can attack the rim from the right side because guess what? That right side is wide open. And if you just try to go up normally with holding turbo and going to the right side, this is going to be a contested layup, maybe a foul, or it's going to be blocked because that's a big man. And I'm pretty sure he has interior defense. So with the quick scoop layup, let me show you guys how it works. That's exactly how it works. We're going to go back. I love this. I love this layup so much, yo, because it's just, it's so finesse. I mean, it's so finesse. By the time he realizes what is going on, that quick scoop layup took me to the side. It just kind of made me jump to the side, and I was able to get a wide open layup. Like, it's, oh my goodness, man. And it's a, it's a bucket. Not many people going to see this coming. They're not going to see this move coming. And then the next one. The next move is even crazier. So now we're in the half court. You see, take my time, evaluate the floor. Nothing is there. Now, already, there's two people in the paint. There's two bigs in the paint, as a matter of fact. The paint is crowded. Take my guy off the dribble. He thinks I'm going corner. I'm actually going middle. And right here is where I start the animation. You can start this animation from pretty far out. I wouldn't say too far or put you in a pull-up animation. But you can start it from right here. You'll be good. I saw the animation from right here, yo. And this is the if any in any situation, this is a bad drive. I mean, this is a horrible drive to try to go for two bigs. But guess what? Quick scoop layup, right over him, bro. It is legit a floater. It is legit just a one hand scoop floater, and it's amazing. Now I thought Giant Slayer works with this, but I had Giant Slayer on in this game, and Giant Slayer did not pop up crazy enough. So we're gonna go back. You you can look in the top right corner, Giant Slayer did not pop up but as you can see i'm gonna go back one more time yo because <laughs> like take him off the dribble be patient evaluate the floor take him off the dribble right we're going right there look look at that just 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 right over him yo i didn't even time it right i didn't even time it right and it still went in it goes to show you that well layup timing is actually pretty nice you need to be using layup timing if you're not or if you are a slasher you need to be using layup timing it's Pretty good this year. You will miss some bunnies, but I'll just force you to get better at layup time. And I'm still in the lab as we speak trying to get better at layup timing. But, and I said I won't go over five minutes, but this thing is about at five minutes right now. Right over him, bro. So if you're a small guard or a smaller player trying to finish over big men, this 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 move is, you know, is for you. I'm gonna let it play out. But hopefully you guys enjoy this little quick tips uh video and get your finishing right. We're gonna go back to the last one so you guys can see that too. 
And again, same situation going against a big, but I, the right side was just wide open. This really allows you to attack a side that's open and get to the cup. Now, it's not to say it's, it's not going to go in every single time. I think it's based off your driving layup attribute. I have an 87 driving layup right now. Um, if you have time and all, it's going to be affected by your time and your rating. But if, if you have time and off, it may just be your rating. And I'm not sure what the clip is going to go down at. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. I'm going to keep I'm trying to keep these coming throughout the year. You know, anything else I may find or try to add my bag, I will let you guys know. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.